The human heart is an organ of prime importance. Coronary arteries are blood vessels that supply oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscle. They are a critical component of the cardiovascular system and play a fundamental role in maintaining the proper functioning of the heart. Over a period of time, fatty deposits, or plaque, build up against the interior walls of the coronary arteries, narrowing the lumen and potentially obstructing the blood's free-flowing pathway. There is further possibility causing a blockage that often results in a fatal cardiac event, which is commonly called a heart attack or a myocardial infarction. Depending upon the blockage, the doctor may recommend a minimally invasive procedure called a PCI or percutaneous coronary intervention or angioplasty and stenting, involving the deployment of a stent within the coronary blood vessel to restore the flow of blood. There have been immense evolutionary leaps in stent technology since PCI was performed 40 years ago. Presently, metallic stents are the mainstay option for angioplasty and stenting, but there have been recent advancements in the field of stent technology, leading to the inception of next-generation thin-strut bioresorbable scaffolds, or BRS, also known as dissolving stents. Let us understand how bioresorbable scaffold is different from permanent metallic stents. As the stents are deployed, the plaque deposit is pressed against the vessel wall. On day one, both the stents start to elute drug. Both the metallic DES and BRS begin their endothelialization phase or healing phase wherein a layer of endothelial cells begin to develop over the stent. After a year from deployment, both the stents will have reduced the obstruction considerably. Even after its job is done, the metallic stent will remain there as a permanent residue, caging the artery for the rest of the life. The BRS, however, would have dissolved in the artery, leaving nothing behind, thus uncaging the vessel wall. The metallic stents are made up of materials such as cobalt chromium, whereas BRS is a scaffold made of biodegradable materials such as polylactide, which begins to dissolve at the site, eventually breaking down into carbon dioxide and water. Through BRS, permanent metallic caging of the stented artery can be avoided it restores natural shape and flexibility of the blood vessel. After BRS is resorbed, it provides ease of access in case of repeated intervention. There may be a reduction in consumption of powerful blood thinners for a longer duration. BRS allays patient fear of carrying an implant in the heart for the rest of their lives. The bioresorbable scaffold is thus a marvel of stent innovation that goes a step beyond traditional drug eluding stents made of metal. It is engineered for an efficient pathway without permanent metallic caging of the vessel and ensuring that the heart receives all the oxygen-rich blood it needs to affirm a healthy heart and a healthy life. If you or your loved ones are undergoing or recommended for an angioplasty and stenting or PCI, ask your doctor and learn more about BRS. <music>